Hi friends, welcome to the third week of Advent Sunday School. I'm glad you joined us and today we're going to be picking up with the story with the story where we left off last week um, talking about the shepherds and the angels and stories that we maybe have heard before but we're hearing again anew this year. And before we get into the stories, uh, we're going to light our Advent wreath and sing some songs, okay? I believe in God. I believe in God. Even when, even when God is silent. The loneliness of fear. The invisibility of the next step. The yearning for presence. Holy One, we thank you for the glimpses we catch of your gift of the depths of joy. Even in the midst of fear, of challenge, of struggle, even when we are not sure of your presence, um, ignite the flame of joy within us that we may glow with its brilliance from the inside out. Amen. Do you know who sang the very first Christmas carols? It was the angels who sang to the shepherds on the night that Jesus was born. Do you know what the words were for the very first Christmas carol? Glory to God in the highest. And that means, God, you are the greatest. Do you know that one day we will sing a magnificent song to God with the angels and we'll sing that too. God, you are the greatest. And no one is going to be worried about figuring who has the prettiest voice or the loudest voice or the best voice because it is going to be the most amazing, beautiful song to God. When we sing now, we are practicing for that wonderful day. Today, our song has some words in an old language, Latin, and they are Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Maybe you've heard them before. And that just means, God, you're the greatest. Glory to God in the highest. Let's practice singing with the angels now. All right, well, you may remember that last week we were reading the story about the light of the whole world, and we left off on this page where the shepherds had just heard something rustling in the trees. I'm going to start there where we left off last week. That night, some shepherds were out in the open fields warming themselves by a campfire when suddenly the sheep darted. They were frightened by something. The olive trees rustled. What was that? A wing beat? They turned around. Standing in front of them was a huge warrior of light blazing in the darkness. Don't be afraid of me, the bright shining man said. I haven't come to hurt you. 
I've come to bring you happy news for everyone to hear everywhere. Today, in David's town, in Bethlehem, God's son has been born. You can go and see him. He's sleeping in a manger. Behind the angel, they saw a strange glowing cloud, except it wasn't a cloud. It was angels, troops and troops of angels armed with light. And they were singing a beautiful song. Glory to God. To God be fame and honor and all our hoorays. Then, as quickly as they appeared, the angels left. The shepherds stamped out their fire, left their sheep, and raced down the grassy hill, through the gates of Bethlehem, down the narrow cobble streets, through a courtyard, down some steps, 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 past an inn, around a corner, and through a hedge, until at last they reached a tumble-down stable. They caught their breath. Then quietly they tiptoed inside, they knelt on the dirt floor. They had heard about this promised child, and now he was here, heaven's son, the maker of the stars, a baby sleeping in its mother's arms. This baby would be like that bright star shining in the sky that night, a light to light up the whole world, chasing away darkness, helping people to see and the darker the night got, the brighter the star would shine. All right, that's our story for this week. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. All right, put your hands together and repeat after me. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our day daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those. As we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. The power. The power. And the glory forever. And the glory forever. Amen. Amen. All right, folks. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. And as we're getting closer to Christmas, we're also getting closer to the longest night of the year, and hopefully you're starting to notice some signs of light as we get more and more light on our Advent wreath and in our houses, and hopefully you're seeing those signs that Christ is coming. Our mission activity uh, this week is to go caroling, and all that means is getting together with your family or the people that you are safe around and singing some of those songs of hope and joy that we sing this time of year. Uh, so find some people who will sing some Christmas songs with you and maybe go outside, maybe go to a park or someplace, really anywhere, even just in your house and sing some songs together. Also, don't forget, if you wanted to uh, contribute some hats or mittens or some money to buy hats and mittens, those need to be brought to Miss Heidi by the 18th of December. So uh, if you have some hats or mittens that you got for um, the Park Forest Day School, Miss Heidi needs those by the 18th. All right. Have a good week. Go tell it on the mountain over